What's up guys, this video is going to be about command mode in Helix and you can start command mode with colon. So if you type colon, you see this list here and you can go up and down this list with tab or shift tab. And as you can see, Helix will very helpfully tell you what this command does and the aliases that it has. And let me show you a few basic commands. So the first one, of course, is quit or just Q that will quit Helix. The next one is write, or just W. That will write changes to this. That will basically save your file. You can also give a path here, some file name .txt or whatever. You can combine those two by typing colon wq and you will save and quit basically. So let me quickly change the file here, foo bar. And now if I just want to quit, I can't because I have unsaved changes remaining. So what I can do now is either a save and quit like this, but if I want to discard these changes, I can just type Q exclamation mark, and that will basically force close the file without saving the changes. If you have more than one file open, you can also type WQA or write quit all to save all files and then quit. Colon open or just O or also just E, Will open a specific file. So I could just type this and then I will open this file here. I can also just give a new file here. So new file.md and I'll open that file. If you want to print the current working directory, you can use pwd, just like in your shell. And that will tell you your current working directory. You can also change that directory with cd and go to a different file, uh, to go to a different directory here. You can also move or rename files with the move command, and the alias is mv, like in your shell. One pretty cool command is the theme command. If you just type theme in here and then press space, you can see all the themes that Helix has to offer. And if you just press tab here, you can go through them and try them out. So now if I press enter here, I will have changed my theme. Of course, not permanently, but I can try it out here if I want to. If you want to make configuration changes permanent, you have to go change that in your config file. And you can go to the config file with colon config dash open. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.